It is time for a very spooky live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. I'm Teacher Pricks. But tonight, I am Spooky Pricks. And I'm going to scare you out, you know, creep you out. Anywhere, anytime, in English. <laughs> Happy Halloween! And people on Instagram, if you want to have a better experience, come to YouTube. Go to my stories and the link will be there, okay? Now, guys, hello, hello. I'm be, I'll be changing costumes tonight, okay? Tonight, we're going to be having a good time. I am looking, I look different here on YouTube. I'm uh, using uh, special effects. Share this lesson with your friends. Invite your friends over, you know, it is Halloween. Let's learn some cool expressions together, you know? If you don't know me very well, I'm not usually like this. I'm cool. I'm a nice teacher. But tonight I'm going to teach you some cool expressions, some words, some adjectives to help you talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime on Halloween night. <laughs> okay, my friends. And... Sometimes I'm going to use the evil laugh. You can't hear it because it's only on YouTube. I'll be using my evil laugh. Well, not mine, but the special effect. Just to see if you guys are paying attention. <laughs> Okie dokie. So we are going to learn some words connected with Halloween, okay? And every now and then I'll be changing my costumes. Not there, here, okay, on YouTube. I'll be changing my costume, my outfit to scare you guys, you know? <laughs> I have my favorites here. You know, it's funny because this afternoon I was testing this uh, special effect here on YouTube. And I was like a child, you know, playing with the different costumes and the different filters. So I must confess, this is much more for me than for you. I'm having a, I'm having a blast playing with these uh, filters, filters, you know? So trick or treat, tonight is spooky. Tell me, do you know the word spooky? Hashtag yes, hashtag no. I want to know, do you know the word spooky? I want to know. People on Instagram, do you know the word spooky? I want to know, okay? Tonight I'm going to teach you some spooky expressions to help you with your English vocabulary. So the next time you watch a Halloween movie, you know, okay? So that's a, that's a good word. Okay. Tell me something that is spooky, Ahmed. What is spooky? Tell me something that is spooky. Luis, tell me something that is spooky, okay? Simona Delana, spooky is strange and ooh, frightening, okay? Scary. That's spooky. For example, I will change my filter to something, to a special effect that is, is spooky. Okay, don't be, don't be afraid. Let's see which one. Get ready. This <laughs> is spooky. Oh my God, that's terrible. <laughs> that's spooky, you know, but don't be scared. I'm back. This is me. <laughs> Share this video with your friends, with your friends, okay? Invite your friends. So ghosts. Ghosts are spooky, you know? Do you believe ghosts are real? Tell me here, yes or no. Do you believe ghosts are real? <gasps> are ghosts real? I don't know. What do you think? Tell me. I want to know your opinion. <laughs> ghosts, are they real? How about, let's see. How about vampires? Are vampires real? You know, I'm a, I, I have neck pain today, so this is a, a vampire bite. But no, it's a joke. No vampire bites. Okay? This is just a neck pain. Or is it? <laughs> nice makeup. It's a filter. Thank you very much. Okay. In the night. I'm teacher pricks in the night. Ready to teach you how to... <laughs> get people's blood in English because that's cool, right? Let me get back to something nicer. 
Anyway, tell me if you believe in ghosts, okay? I am curious to know if you believe in ghosts. But moving on, the first thing that I want to teach you, the first expression that I want to teach you is graveyard shift. Do you know graveyard shift? I want to know. Graveyard shift. Tell me yes or no, okay? Graveyard shift. I want to know if you know graveyard shift. I'm curious. Do you know graveyard shift? <gasps> Let's see how many students know that. Yo. Let's see. Luis Fernando doesn't believe in ghosts. Okay. Fielke, yes, because they are gods and God. Well, okay. Uh, man doesn't believe in ghosts. Okay, now people are telling me you don't know the expression. You don't know. And Apollo doesn't know. Okay, nice filter. Okay, yes. Oh, I already read that. Uh, okay, Kina doesn't know the expression. Okay, okay. Fortunately, I don't need to do this. Okay? Uh, I will teach you what it is. So let me get this light back on. Because I have many things open right now and I'm, I'm a little confused. Okay, now, guys. It's a work shift, okay? For example, some people work during the day and some people work the night shift, okay? Okay, so I, I, I work regular hours. I work the regular shift, the regular hours. But some people like doctors, nurses, drivers have to work the night shift, okay? And we have an expression that we can say the graveyard shift. This means that you work all through the night until the early uh, hours in the morning, very early, okay? So it is possible. That's, uh, that's the idea. But if you want to know what a graveyard means, okay, let me show you a graveyard because today we're going to we're going to get very visual here or not. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you a graveyard, okay? But remember, this is just an expression. So, graveyard shift is the night shift that someone works until early in the morning, the first morning hours, okay? So, in my case, I hate working the graveyard shift, okay? And then I I posted an example here. I hate working the graveyard shift. Weird shit happens at night in here. Maybe hospitals, you know, or other places. So it can be scary to work the night shift, okay? Do you work the graveyard shift? Tell me here. I will show you the graveyard now, okay? I will fix the picture so you can see. One moment. Don't panic. Don't sweat it. Ooh, that's big. Okay. So this is a graveyard, okay? Similar to a cemetery, there are differences, okay? There are differences in meaning. But this is a graveyard. Whoa. And the graveyard shift is those is when you work through the night in early hours, okay? Uh, so tell me, who works the graveyard shift here? Uh, Kina says, like in my job, you work for two weeks in the night shift. Okay, so you, you work. Okay. So nobody works the graveyard shift? Really? I don't. I don't like it. Creepy. You know, bad stuff happens. Especially on Halloween. Mm. Tell me, do you celebrate Halloween in your country? Is there any celebration of Halloween in your country? I want to know. And invite your friends. Invite your friends to watch this really cool live where everything can happen. Anything can happen, actually. Teachers becoming vampires. Teachers becoming weird stuff. Weird shit, <laughs> weird shit happens in here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, let's move on to the next one, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Okay, 
Oh, I like this one. Okay. I like this one. Over my dead body. Ah, over my dead body. Okay. Tell me, do you know this expression? Hashtag yes, hashtag no. Over my dead body. Hmm. Over my dead body. I want to share this one with you guys. You know, this is the, the type of the expression uh, that you're going to use when you're going to talk about something that, uh-uh, you are not going to do this, okay? So you will use this phrase in a conversation to show someone that you don't like their idea, you don't like their plan, you don't like their intention, their actions that they are suggesting, and you will do everything in your power to stop that person, to prevent that from happening, okay? So, for example, let's say I have a daughter, okay? Let's say I am Mama Pricks for real and I have a child. And then my daughter, who is 14, she's 14, she comes to me and says, Mom, I'm getting a tattoo right here. <laughs> And then I can look at her and say, over my dead body, you will not get a tattoo, young lady. Yo, so only when I die, can you do that? Over my dead body, you know, never. You are not going to do that. So you are disapproving a certain action, something that someone told you. What? Over my dead body, you are not going out tonight. Over my dead body. Yo, so nice, right? I like this. Make sure to share this video with your friends. And we move. We keep going. We have more. We have more. Okay, creepy. This is an adjective, okay? Very common. For example, let's, let's put one thing here that is creepy. Okay, does this look creepy? Here on Instagram, on YouTube, you have to come here. Does this look creepy? Do I look creepy? What do you think? Do I look creepy? Or do I look nice? Tell me, be honest. Just the right amount of honest. Do I look creepy? Huh. So creepy means it's an adjective that we use to describe someone or something, or a situation that is strange, not natural, unnatural, that makes you feel scared. <laughs> <laughs> It makes you scared. It makes you afraid, okay? So it's creepy. It's scary. It's frightening, okay? So tell me something that is creepy. I want you to give me an example. Tell me something that you think is creepy. Like, oh my God, this is creepy, teacher. Stop it. This is strange. And it's strange in a scary way, okay? It's strange in a scary way. So give me an example of something, something creepy. I want to know, what is something that is creepy? Uh, and then here I have some examples. Oh, I don't like Peter. Why? What's wrong with Peter? He has a creepy smile. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Creepy. Okay. So, what is creepy? No examples of creepy. Oh, my goodness. Come on, people on YouTube. Give me an example of creepy stuff. I want to know. Another example. Ooh, that movie is creepy. You don't want to watch it. There is a movie that is creepy. Creeps me out. Freaks me out, actually. Not creeps me out. It freaks me out. Uh, what's the name of the, the movie? Uh, Get Out. Did you watch this movie? Have you seen this movie? My lips look creepy. Um, but example with me? Oh. <laughs> Tell me, have you seen the movie Get Out? That movie is creepy as F. Okay? 
That movie is creepy as F. Do you know this abbreviation, as F? Because I don't want to curse here. Do you know? Oh, man, that movie is creepy as F. You know, as F. Okay. Do you know the movie Get Out? My hair is creepy. You guys are just saying that I'm creepy. Everything about me is creepy. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to switch to something nicer, okay? I'm going to switch to this one. Does this one look creepy? I want to know. Does this one look creepy now? Ah, people on Instagram, you have no idea what's going on. You got to come to YouTube, okay? Here's where the fun is. <laughs> Black cats at midnight are creepy. Especially on a Halloween night, Moneda. Especially on a Halloween night. Uh, I can't go to my friend's house because it's very creepy. The house is creepy? Oh, my goodness. So, does this look creepy? I want to know. Vampire. I'm a vampire. Or maybe not. You know, I do like... No, I don't like blood. <laughs> I'm gonna say something like really stupid. Vampire is better. Oh my god. I like the vampire too. It's not so creepy. Okay? It's not so creepy. Vampires are cute. Cute, 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 cute. Oh my goodness. Now, guys. No evil laugh, okay? Before I continue with the expressions, I want to make an invitation, okay? As a vampire. On December 1st, okay? Not now, not tomorrow. December, okay? On December 1st, I'll be doing an, a workshop. A listening mastery workshop, Okay? If you have problems understanding native speakers, movies, TV, seri TV series, if you are tired of only understanding teachers and you want more, this workshop is for you, okay? You will get all the details, all the details very soon. Not right now, okay? You will get all the details, let's see, ba -ba 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 -ba, all the details in the link that I'm going to share with you. I'm going to get back to the explanations very soon. And I think you cannot, you cannot miss this workshop, okay? I am preparing the activities. I know you are going to have a wonderful time. It'll be exclusive. It'll be a small workshop for a few people. I think I'm, I'm, I'm uh, preparing this workshop for a very private selection of students, okay? So if you want to participate in this link, you will find all the information you need to guarantee to save your spot, okay? It'll be a two hour and a half event workshop with me, okay? Not many students, it'll be a few students. And I am sure if you want to understand native speakers, my friend, you got to participate in the listening mastery workshop because I'll show you, you will understand native speakers. No more teacher. I only, under I only understand teachers. What's wrong with me? No more, okay? You will understand native speakers and I will show you how, okay? So save your spot, okay? It's not free. There is a fee, a very small fee for this amazing class. So y'all, now let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling because we got to talk. I have more stuff to show you. <laughs> now, my friends, I love this one. And I must admit... Sometimes this is me, okay? Sometimes when I see creepy things, that's how I feel, you know? Sometimes I get really scared, really, really scared. So I got to watch out, okay? So my sister says that to me a lot. Priscilla, you're such a wimp. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a wimp. Oh, my God. You know, when you call someone a wimp, you are such a wimp. When you call someone a wimp, it means... Uh, it means that that person is a coward. Is chicken. Chicken. 
It has other translations, okay? I can also describe someone who is a, a nerd, someone who's too nerdy, you know, or someone who is strange. But I can also describe someone who is a poor, 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 poor chicken. <laughs> someone who is a coward, okay? Who is afraid, okay? So let's see, I'm talking about the movie again. Oh, Peter is such a wimp. He doesn't want to see the movie with us. He doesn't want to see the movie because he's a wimp. Such a chicken, yo. Come on. I have other expressions here to teach you, but this is a nice channel, so I cannot teach that. But if I were in a real life conversation and I was talking and I were talking to Peter, I would say, hey, you are such a wimp. Grow some balls. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. I will not continue that part of the explanations, okay? But that's basically what I would say. As a nice vampire who is not afraid of anything, I'm not a wimp. Do you know anyone who is like that? Do you know any wimp? Do you know? <laughs> Do you know any wimp? Hashtag yes, hashtag no. Teacher, I don't know any wimp. You know, I just know strong people that are brave, not wimps. Just strong people. I want to know, okay? <laughs> very well, very well. Hey, make sure to hit the like button for this lesson. You know, it took, I dedicated so much here to bring you the very best. So, Waja, you know wimps. Yeah, I think, let's see. Okay, I think I am the wimp. <laughs> I am the coward, you know? Like, if I see a cockroach... I will start screaming, okay? I'm a wimp. What's your reaction when you see a cockroach? Tell me, what's your reaction? What's your reaction when you see a cockroach? Do you scream? Do you cry like a baby? Do you get help? I get help. I cannot kill a cockroach. I'm a wimp. <laughs> Come on, be honest, okay? I want to know. I want to know who you are. It's important to be the right amount of honest, okay? Be honest. Don't be afraid. You're such a wimp. Oh, my God. You're such a nerd. So, guys, interpretation. Depending on the situation, it could be like, oh, she's such a wimp, a nerd, you know, a coward, so that would be um, a few things. It's disgusting, isn't it, Louise? Cockroaches are disgusting. Disgusting. Okay. <laughs> so that's my reaction. My reaction when I see a cockroach is, what? I scream and I want to run away because they're ugh, disgusting. Okay, disgusting. Anyway, anyway, let me see. Okay, what do you do when you see a cockroach? This is a serious question. I want to know, what do you do when you see a cockroach? Do you run? Do you get help? Do you kill it like a big boy or a big girl? I want to know, okay? And now we move on. And I'm wearing a creepy... <laughs> Okay, okay. Moving on. To wimp out. Now, this is a phrasal verb, okay? Wimp out. A phrasal verb. It's a variation now, okay? Pay attention. What does that mean? Wimp out, okay? W-I-M-P-O-U-T. To wimp out. It's when you decide, you make the decision of not doing something because you are too afraid, too scared, okay? Fatima is strong. She's not afraid of cockroaches, okay? You go, girl. So when you wimp out, pray, pay attention, <laughs> pray attention. <laughs> when you wimp out, it means... You make the decision, you decide not to do something because you are a wimp, <laughs> because you are a chicken, because you are afraid. 
Okay, so you wimp out. Okay, we have another phrasal verb, which is to chicken out. Oh, she chickened out. Yao, <laughs> she chickened out. So she, you wimp out. So I was going to watch a horror movie with my friends, but I wimped out at the last minute. I was. I swear, I was going to watch the movie. But, well, at the last minute, I went out because I was afraid. Okay? Magna, don't wimp out. Don't go away. Okay? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes, I wimp out when I watch a horror movie. There are so many terrible movies. Tell me, I want to know here, what was... What was the scariest horror movie or what is the scariest movie? Pay attention. What is the scariest horror movie you have ever watched or seen? Okay? Tell me what is the scariest movie you have you have ever watched? Okay? I want to know the scariest movie. The scariest horror movie you have ever watched. <laughs> Campus, I almost dumped my phone. I'm sorry, but this is Halloween. Wow. Teacher, I wimp out when I have to talk to native speakers. So you need to be part of my academy. Because in my academy, my students are confident. They talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime. When they travel, when they work with their friends, with me. The academy is for you, girl. The exorcist. Oh, the exorcist, excuse me. Okay, that was a scary movie. That was, that was bad. What is the name of paranormal, paranormal activity? What's the name of the movie? Um, I, I, I got scared watching paranormal activity. Paranormal activity scared the shit out of me, okay? Really. Jurassic Parks? Conjuring, oh my God. I always wimp. Wimp out when I have to when I when I start watching this movie, I start to feel sick. You know, I start to feel like, oh my god, this movie's not for me. I'm a nice girl. I can't do this. I cannot do this because it's a creepy, creepy movie. Okay, uh, Carrie is strange mur murder doll movie. The clown. I couldn't watch the clown. You know, I couldn't. It's too bad. It's awful, awful. Evil Dad. Okay, I don't know this movie. Wolf with Jack Nicholson. Nicholson. Uh, I don't know this movie. I don't remember. The Blair Witch. The Blair Witch was bad. I agree. B the Blair Witch was really bad. Really bad. Uh, the Conjuring. I think it's a big winner here. Big winner. Um, uh, yeah, creepy movies. Creepy, creepy movies. My God. I can't. I can't even say, you know, my God. So, did you understand the phrasal verb wimp out? Tell me here. Hashtag yes, hashtag no. Did you understand the movie? The, <laughs> the phrasal verb wimp out? I want to know. Uh, okay. Let me test a new one here. Let me test a new... Oh. I don't like this one. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no, this is too bad. This is too bad. Let me go back to the vampire. Okay, this is better. I like the vampire. Here, I'm a vampire, but here not. Here, I'm something. I have no idea what it is. Okay. So, did you understand the wim to wimp out? Jose D says yes. Very good. Very good. Okay. Okay. And share this video with your friends. Okay. Invite your friends. Okay, why are you looking like that? Because it's Halloween. I'm changing costumes here, <laughs> having fun, okay? It's Monday. We got to have some fun. Come on. Now, Blood Run Code. Oh, Poltergeist. That's, that's a bad movie. That's a really bad movie. Bad, okay? Okay, very good. We move on. We press on. Freeze over, okay? Press on. I wimped out when I saw you in this tie. Oh, my God. But you are giving me an example in English. So, props to you, okay? Now, this is an expression. And when your blood, pay attention, when your blood 
runs, runs cold. So you are describing a situation. Your blood, our blood is not cold, right? If your blood is cold, it means you are a vampire. You died. <laughs> so if your blood runs cold, it means something happened, okay? Something happened and you are feeling a physical shock. Or because you are in danger, something dangerous is happening. Or because you are watching a movie and something scary is happening. Or maybe you saw something frightening happening. And then all of a sudden, your blood ran cold. Okay? So let's put this into a life context, because in this case, I don't need only to use this to describe um, scary movie stuff, okay? But for example, maybe I have a son, okay? And my son, my little boy is playing, and then my little boy, oh my neck, <laughs> my little boy, oh my God, when I saw, when my son passed out, my blood ran cold okay i started to feel really bad really frightened i think this happens to mothers is there any mother here watching i think when you see your child falling down you know getting hurt your blood runs cold right let's see let tell me moms and dads does your blood run cold when you watch your child getting hurt so this is an example okay you you feel shocked frightened oh my god my little my child is getting hurt for a moment your blood runs cold because you're like <gasps> okay do you understand the expression hashtag yes hashtag no graciela yes so graciela is a mother she knows it's awful you know when you see when you watch your child having an accident your blood runs cold. It's frightening. It is so scary. My goodness. So do you understand the expression? Hashtag yes, hashtag no. Because remember, this is your life. Rosary says yes. Kalini says yes. Awesome, awesome. Ah, exciting. Franciele, go back a little. Okay, so that I get, I, I explain the, the, the expression. But you get very frightened and scared when something happens. So you can use the expression, my, my blood ran cold. Your blood is not cold. Your blood's not, your, your blood's hot, okay? But when, when you are so scared, so afraid, for a moment, metaphorically speaking, your blood runs cold, okay? So that's, that's an idea there. Now, moving on to another expression. Halloween costume. <laughs> Whoa. Halloween costume. Now, this is an easy one, but some students confuse, okay? There is a false friend in Portuguese and in other languages, languages that fantasy, Ooh, no, false friend, okay? Costume, costume are clothes, okay, that you wear on Halloween, okay? So then we say costume, a costume party, not fantasy. No, okay, no. <laughs> Boo. So when you go to a Halloween party, you wear a costume. Funny clothes, beautiful clothes, not so beautiful clothes, okay? We call them costumes. Tell me, have you ever been to a Halloween party? Hashtag yes or hashtag no? 
Have you ever been to a Halloween party? Tell me. I wanna know. I really want to know. I wanna know. Halloween party. Have you ever been to a Halloween party? I have been to two Halloween parties. Fun. Okay, fun. Mustafa has never been to a Halloween party. Who else? Let's see. I want to know. Hashtag yes or hashtag no. Have you ever been to a Halloween party? Kalidi says no. Francieli says no. Wajat, no. Kind of a funny nickname over there, huh? Last name, but. <laughs> uh, can no Halloween party. Wagner says no. Aligo, no. Flavia, yes. Okay, good. Edna, yes. You know, it, I went to two Halloween parties, and in one Halloween party, I was dressed. Um, I was dressed like uh, an Italian criminal. You know, <laughs> well, what is it called? The what is it called? The crime? Uh, oh my goodness! Can you can you guys help me? How do you call the criminals? The mafia, a mafia, you know, the mafia. I was dressed like a mafia kind of girl. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Adama, never been to a Halloween party. Okay, okay. Well, I have been. And the second Halloween party I went to, I was dressed like a goddess, like a Greek goddess. <laughs> A gangster, also possible, Graciela. Very, totally a gangster. I was, I was dressed like a, a female gangster or mafia, you know, like the girl from mafia. And in my second Halloween party, I was dressed like a Greek goddess. Excuse me, a Greek goddess, because I am a goddess. <laughs> I'm kidding, okay? I'm kidding. Kidding. Now let's play with imagination. Let's imagine, okay? Imagine. Maybe for a second. If you went, okay? A Greek, no specific goddess, okay? If you went to a Halloween party, what costume would you wear, okay? I think it was, yes. What costume would you wear? So what costume would you wear? I would wear a vampire costume. I would wear a Cleopatra costume. What what uh, uh, costume would you wear? Mm. Let's see. A vampire, a vampire costume. Now I'm a vampire. Asking you to like this lesson because it helps the channel grow and participate in my listening mastery workshop. <laughs> uh, Cristiani, okay, a baseball ghost, a baseball ghost. I would wear a superhero costume. Yes, to save people, we fly. That's nice. I think I would wear a, a Wonder Woman costume. That would be nice, you know? Uh, Maleficent, a Maleficent costume. There is a Maleficent filter here, let's see. I don't like it very much though. Uh, is this one? Let's see. <laughs> it's not really a Maleficent. It kind of reminds of Maleficent because of the horns. But that's not me, you know? I'm a cool girl. I'm this, yeah, maybe this. <gasps> oh my God, that's creepy. I'm gonna stick to the vampire. You would wear a Leonardo DiCaprio wit, uh, uh, costume, okay. Kalini would wear a witch costume, very popular in the United States. You know, in the, in, uh, the two parties I went to, oh, it was so fun. The costumes were amazing, like really, really well made. I loved the costumes, really loved the costumes. <laughs> they were so exciting and fun, you know. Oh, man, it, they were really, really, really cool. 
Now, guys, I want to know. Let's see more comments here. You uh, went as Fiona and your husband as Shrek. Oh, that's so cool. You know, it's so cool. Very nice idea. Good for you, Moneda. Good for you. <laughs> Oh my God, that's a very nice idea. Now, guys, as I told you, on December 1st, for a very limited number of people, I will do a listening mastery workshop. If you are tired of only understanding teachers like me and you want more, teacher, I want to understand people in English. When I watch movies, TV series, when I talk to native speakers, I want to understand more easily. No more. This is the workshop you have to participate, okay? It'll be on December 1st. You have one month. It'll be on December 1st, okay? A two hour, two hour and a half with a special presence for you. It'll be fun. And it's only 97 Brazilian reais, okay? I think in dollars, that would be $20, $25. This will not happen here on YouTube. It'll happen on Zoom, only with the students that participate. Very limited number of positions, okay? I think uh, I, I will not get many students for this. It'll be a private lesson with the students who join this workshop, okay? So if you want to participate in this workshop, save your spot before it's too late, okay? Because this will sell fast because it's very cheap. It's going to be a two-hour workshop. You will get a lot of work to do to master your listening. So get ready. Other than that, my friends. <laughs> I will see you next time. Bye, guys.